and it is Wednesday once again, guys, as if it is an every week thing. We are here at Trekkers, which may thing to look at a ship from the broad plethora of the many Star Trek universes, the multiverse of the timelines, the canons, the side canons, the games. Hint. Right. Hint. And today we've got a fun something or other. But it's not my ship today, it's Stuart's ship. So tell us, what are you uh, bringing to us today? Today I brought something that I really like, and it's from the JJ-verse. What happened to Captain Foley? Right? Anyway. Uh, Some, this would is say. Game... Some would say. <laughs> the game Star Trek Bridge Crew um, uh -huh. is it's a really fun game, to be honest. I got it in VR now, which is really cool. But... You start out the game with this ship, the USS Aegis. Aegis. Aegis? Aegis? I don't know. Um, but NX-1787. Um, and it's a pretty fantastic little design. I mean, it holds very much true to the Constitution class aesthetics of the saucer, secondary hull, struts, and engines. But the engines are mounted much lower, and it really makes the ship feel more streamlined more sleek if you will ah, i beat you to it um and it's a, it's a neat little design i really don't, i don't mind this one at all i'm not a huge fan of the jj prize as you know but this one i i rather like so yeah yeah I it's take a, a look at it was a pleasant surprise when it was revealed um because this is sort of the only other hero-esque mm -hmm. jj universe ship obviously there's lots of those secondary ships but all just kit bashes of a similar theme this is actually takes an, a unique stance, and it really is just a kit bash. But it is, it's a kit bash with redesigned pieces. Yes. Um, you know how do we proportion and 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 they fix a lot of things. And I think they knew they were fixing a lot of things. You know, mm -hmm. from from a design point of view, there are easy things you can see at the JJ, you know, Mark Ryan Church Enterprise, and see a bit misproportioned, bit this, bit this, bit this. Even if you like it aesthetically, you can see from a design point of view there are flaws. This ship. It takes us away, but has its own unique flair, as you said. I mean, the engines are definitely shrunk a bit more in proportion, given more of a flair. We'll see other views, I'm sure. Um, yeah, it's it's a good-looking ship. And I, I saw it in the trailer; it looked great. Mm -hmm. I haven't played the game myself um, because I haven't got VR. I'm a great PC. They could well, you, don't, run you don't need VR. You can play it non-VR now. So, so I might. But it's very difficult. In. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, one little thing to note. I love the fact this one's actually built to the correct scale because, as we know, the JJ Prize was upscaled after it was built. So all the window model, all the window sizes don't really make sense. Look, you can see the windows, how small they are on the rim. Mm -hmm. It's a big ship, and it feels it's a big ship. And I, you cool. Yeah, and that's actually one of the things they redesigned that I really like is the saucer, the edge of the saucer. I like that new take on it. Uh, the JJ one's a little too rounded for me. It's not as sharp as like the refit or the co original Constitution class. It's a little too rounded. It looks a little too... I don't know how to describe it. But this one looks really nice. It's a, it's a nice redesign of that shape. So uh, so we just want to... I want to point out that the ship was launched in 2258. Um, it is the Aegis class. So this is the first of the class. It's an NX, so it's experimental. Um, <clears throat> and it says it's a cruiser. Um, there's not much more information on it, but I got to say that having played the VR and sitting at the different stations, it is, the, I love the, the JJ aesthetic for consoles. Um, they're really cool, especially when you're at tactical and the ship you have targeted, there's a little hologram floating right in front of you. And that's really cool. Um, so I concede that some of the JJ stuff is pretty cool. So there you go. That's closer to modernized TOS than what we've got for Discovery, which which now we're all seeing as, as part of the unique trend there. And also, one thing about this game is that they have D fives in, as the as the as mm -hmm. the thing on, you know, they actually have cannon. It's mm -hmm. amazing. It's 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 a, it's a discovery. It's a discovery. It's a JJ era thing, and yet the, you know the old ships are actually the correct old ships. Huh. Yeah. Well. Even the two thousand and nine, even the two thousand and nine movie had the Klingon Warbird, which we saw on screen for like f four seconds, the battle cruiser, mm -hmm. and it looks fantastic. It's a great redesign. So, but I mean, yeah. that was a, that was a new design. The D five was literally just the D five for Enterprise. Yes. The the woo, because um, there's a game yeah. they don't have to have JJ saying no, ignore. You know, just like Ryan Johnson, let the past die, <laughs> burn it. Don't use anything from Trek. Don't use any one from Trek. 
God, yeah. they're so similar in different ways. Wouldn't it be great if Ryan Johnson was a real Star Trek fan, and so it was a swap? JJ Ooh. broke Star Trek, Ryan Johnson broke Star Wars, JJ comes in and fixes Star, War- Star Wars, and then <laughs> Johnson comes in and fixes Star Trek. Wouldn't that be great, the symmetry? Because now the Star Wars fans know how I feel, um, or at least somewhat. Mm. Uh, this next picture is actually a really nice shot of the ship. Uh, I love the squat neck on this thing. It makes it feel much more combat ready, a little more versatile. Uh, and also the the redesign of the exterior of the nacelles, that flat section at the front, it just it really works. Like they did some really nice subtle changes. Um, but that's all that the JJ Prize actually needs to be more aesthetically pleasing is some subtle changes, some proportion adjustments and this ship fit that mold i think because they were not a lot of people are big fans of the jj prize a lot of people are um and i think to to kind of quell both camps and make this game more palpable to a lot of people they came in with this ship which carries over a lot of the jj stuff but like you said fixes a lot of it as well um so i really i'm really on board with this redesign and there's some really cool features um that they've done here so but it's still got a bridge window. But, you know, it's a different universe. They have to do their own weird things. No, it's a nice set of smooth shapes, and yet a lot of actually broken up shapes. There's a lot of plating, a lot of armor. It feels a certain level of chunky. Um, I do love how the nacelles are, the pylons are, because they're much more excelsior You know, mm. straight out and up. It's a different vibe, but it, it instantly, yeah, does does good things. Yeah, and that neck is much thicker in the back, but it's just, yeah. It's mm-hmm. weirdly a nicely proportioned ship. Ooh, this is a great shot, the next cinematic. Um, like I said, I really like that redesign of the saucer and the window placements. Uh, it, take, it's, it, it steps away from the original TOS window placement, which they carried over onto the JJ Prize. This I like, um, how they changed it up. Uh, so th- this is a great shot. This is one of the cinematics in the game, and it's just, yeah, it's a nice ship to watch. It also implies it's more battle ready. A lack mm. of windows implies more of a sense of, well, yeah, because we need the armor, we need the hull, we need the strength there. So they've got very limited saucer, mm-hmm. you know, windows. It kind of says something to me, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, in Bridge Crew, I'm sure a lot of it you spend shooting Klingons and other races. It's certainly more of a battleship than you'd hope the Enterprise mm. would be. Um, and obviously, the other, the other thing, this shot, lots of little lit elements, lots of, mm. you know, sword. They, they reminisce of lens flare. But they're not really a lens flare. You know, it's sort of yeah. visually tying in, but not. Yeah. I've noticed, too, that the deflector doesn't stick out like the JJ Prize. It seems more inset like the refit. Uh, and that works fine for me. I I think that looks great because it, it still looks like the sensor dish. You know, it's got that look and feel, but it's not a, vi- a physical dish, which works fine here. In my well, it looks, it looks great. It's a really nice yeah. sort of advancedy looking deflectory dishy thing yeah deflectory dish. Hmm, no uh the next picture is one that i found on deviantart uh somebody had kind of redesigned it to fit more with um like the movie era uh they've they've, they've adapted the saucer made it more refit style which works fine again uh the nacelles seem a lot sleeker and smaller here and i think it's a really cool design uh when you see it from the side i really like this thing but then again i like the jj prize from the side directly from the side that ship looks okay yeah i think this nacelle if you compare it to the other screenshots this is much more the jj prize nacelle yeah um, yeah there's no alternate alterations at the front there. yeah so it, it but it 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 works better even with the direct you know nicking of that part of the design because it, it just the way it is in the body Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, the, the shapes and stuff. I don't think this quite works though, because I'm looking. I see complete disconnect from the the saucer, which is just a refit saucer, and then this sun smooth, mm-hmm. really organic lines. So I, yeah, I, I don't buy this. It does like two images they sort of stitched together. Yeah, um, they yeah, need to modif- really change most of the shapes for this to work. I think. Yeah, some modifications to the bottom of the saucer with the attachment point there would be needed. But anyway. Um, <clears throat> next shot is uh, from the opening of the game. Mm. You get to if you stay in your shuttle pod, you get to fly around the ships mm. and get some cool views of them. So this is it from the back. You get to see the shuttle bay, uh, the impulse engines, 
and uh, the struts. And mm. the, the the engines are spaced a little further apart than the JJ ones, I think, mm. uh, the JJ Prize. And that, mm-hmm. again, that's one of my biggest sticking points on that design. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I couldn't find any views of the ship from the top necessarily to show, but... Um, yeah, it's it. it I, I like this ship. I really mm-hmm. do. It's got also the unique thing about being a game ship. So limited polygons, limited mm-hmm. allowed detail. So it has to have a certain simplicity and sleekness, which the TOS Enterprise had. So it inadvertently links. You know, it can't have all these polygons for plates and for the greeblies and because it just hasn't got the detail available. So mm-hmm. that kind of works in its own way. Um, and yeah, I mean, I like the lit aft pylons it works fine it's probably like a torpedo launcher or something at the back there at the bottom in the cutout it doesn't appear to be but maybe a close-up yeah Yeah. and again guys like i said i just got the vr for father's day Hmm. and there's nothing better than sitting in that shuttle pod and just in that opening menu and just flying around the ships because the detail like you said the detail is low because it's it's a game model right but at the same time it looks pretty detailed and in VR, when you can look around, it's fantastic. So, Samuel, when you come over next, you need to try this out. Just saying. Um, the next shot is, <clears throat> well, it's got the K7-style Starbase there, which is a nice redesign. Uh, it's holding very true to the original, but still looking more modern, and that's perfectly fine it's with me. Just to just to take the shape, remaster it. That's exactly how yeah. TOS, these, these things should have been. Yeah, and you can see there that the engines are spaced much more, much closer to the original Constitution class. Um, I do like the big uh, impulse engines as well, very reminiscent of the Enterprise B or even in the Excelsior. Um, more of the Excelsior, I think. But yeah. Anyway. Well, now inadvertently, the the dis- Disco Prize. Disco Disco Prize. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so <clears throat> um, another shot of it from the rear. Again, it's got the glowing nacelle lens, which are fine in my opinion. Uh, it's kind of in a cool advanced look. And I, I do like the lighting on this ship. The self illumination is really cool. It's got a lot of interesting things to look at for sure. And again, the, the, lack, of, the lack of windows, the small scale, it's how it should look. Mm-hmm. So the scale we know it is would have been nice to see the JJ Prize. You know, be be more representative of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, the next shot's very cool lighting. I really like this one. Uh, it's a kind of a beauty shot, and I'm not a fan of the bottom of the saucer on this. Like the the shapes that meld into the neck. Um, I don't know. They they just don't. It, it, the same thing happens with the JJ Prize. I just don't like the shapes that they've used on the saucer. Um, but that's just it's just personal preference for me. But well, this one's know. strange because it, it looks like a flying saucer has been attached to the neck. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Well, seriously, because the, the the whole point of the Enterprise is uh, up until you know E, there's a sort of gradient effect, and then the TOS Con it's so beautiful, refit so beautiful. This so it's thick bulk, smooth, two details. So it feels really flat, and like it's an attached point. It hasn't got that elegance. I think if you want to have a flat saucer, do it, do it more on the top. That's fine. Yeah. Um, or allow it to go in in the middle. Um, so it doesn't it doesn't quite work here. And because again they got the scale correct, the phase of ball turrets look super tiny. The illumination, it doesn't even go far enough. Like the the bottom hasn't been integrated into into the design. They're saying right, what's on the JJ Prize? We'll put this there. But suddenly at the correct scale, oh, there's so much empty room. And we, what can we do? Well, nothing much. They should have redesigned. This and, and it fleshed out more. Maybe even hey, maybe even add a discovery alpha style cutout Franklin. You know, a piece which which could be like drop down cargo bays. Something even mm. cool. It's a, it's a bigger ship. You've got extra decks. Use them. You know, for a shuttle pod launch ring. How cool would that be? Mm. Um, mm-hmm. That would give some cool detail. So yeah, the, the bottom's certainly lacking. Um, <laughs> in fact, this view makes the engine pylons look super weedy. Yeah. Um, and the whole thing kind of seem well. I, it, it, I think it's probably because the, the saucer is so giant in this scene, in, in this shot. It makes all your shapes look small. It's a lot more like an Enterprise D feeling ship right now. Which is weird considering it's a big bulky ship that's quite long, but it's suddenly got a whole different yeah. material. Yeah. yeah. 
Never really considered that, but you're right. It does have that Enterprise D vibe here. Which is strange, because the next picture yeah. suddenly feels longer and yeah. bigger and whole different feel. Um, mm. With really bulky engines, but they, they do kind of work. Again, lack of polygons. They're quite blip, 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 blip. They're not smooth. They should really be smooth. Yeah. Um, that doesn't quite work, but... Uh, I do uh, I do like the nacelles, the, the detail on them. Like, extra shielding and the bulk. I like the bulk and the shapes. They're more squared off, I mm -hmm. think, than the JJ ones. Mm. And that really works for me, so... Moving also to the, the Reefer era. Yeah. Also here you can see the thickness, the added thickness in the neck. And that... Yeah. Really impressive. Didn't That's something that, that yeah, wow. Some, something that the design kind of needed. Also, the placement of the impulse engines. I didn't really realize they were up so high. I thought they were more mm. in line with the uh, the main plane of the saucer, but they are raised up, and uh, that's a kind of a neat look, actually. Yeah, and so it's an, yeah, it's very it's very blocky. I will say this ship does feel that's that's limited polygons. Um, yeah. And also because in VR, you've really got to be careful because it's, it's rendering a lot of things. Um, yeah. So it, it, it's suffering from that, I think. But they've, they've integrated that into the design by having things be more bulky, which is kind of refitty, to be honest, as I said before. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it comes together surprisingly well. I'll say that. And it's definitely yeah. one of the best, if not the best looking JJ Verse ship. I think if given yeah. a high poly treatment to flesh it out and give more grooves. Because again, the, the JJ Prize model is actually really nice. The 3D model, it looks beautiful. A lot of detail. But... But... You know, but. Um, so it'd be fun to see this one as a full high detail mesh. Yeah. Well, that's our look at this ship, the Aegis uh, class. It is sailing off into the distance in this last picture, so goodbye, Aegis. It's been nice talking about you. I would like to learn more about it. I'd like to like to see it fleshed out more. Kind of, you know, is it like a support cruiser? It's. I don't think it's a heavy cruiser necessarily because it's not a Constitution class. So I'd love to learn more about this. If they could expand the the story behind it, that'd be incredible. Um, yeah. But uh, it, it's a fun ship, and the bridge layout is interesting. It's different than the Enterprise that we see in the movie, and mm -hmm. the controls are really neat. So I got to say. Playing the VR really made me have a new appreciation for the ship design and the JJ verse in general. So mm -hmm. that's a good thing, I guess. So anyway, guys, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about mm -hmm. this design? And uh, do you know anything about it that we haven't mentioned? Because there's not a lot online about it. So uh, if well, you I want to I want to full fight later with all the renders, all the views, and and oh yeah, get and look at the bridge as well because they redesigned that and again fixed all the problems. Um, this is just a preliminary look at because. People have been asking for it for a, a while. Mm hmm They have indeed. But anyway, guys, let us know what you think. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, do all that fun stuff. And uh, if you want to support us, you definitely can. And Patreon. Samuel will tell you how. Patreon. Yes. A lot of YouTubers use it to help support themselves. It's the backbone of what we do. So if you can donate a little bit each and every month, it'll make a massive, massive difference. Or a one-time donation at trekkills.com. Again, a huge difference. YouTube doesn't support us financially. We need more keep going mm. please do thank you absolutely so until next time guys i'm captain foley i am a and we will see you later bye, bye guys <laughs>